welcome to another episode of Can We Say That? Yes. We took a little break. Um, yes. Yeah, fuck you guys. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's too, no. too aggressive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, motherfuckers. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back to this debauchery. Um, how, how was you guys Thanksgiving? I, I had a good Thanksgiving. I we did a real adult. Hello, my name's Corey. We did a uh, real adult Thanksgiving. Did we introduce uh, the show? I'm sorry. That's a, hey. Should we, we start they over? Know where they are? I they, know I where they, are. they know where that's they, they are. They know where they clicked. Adamar, <laughs> where am I? <laughs> Adamar, where am I? Uh, can we say that podcast? Can we say that studio? Oh yeah. Hi-yo. Oh, it's an upgrade. It is from the dungeon we were at before. Small. Nah, the other dungeon was and, just no. Fine. It was horrible. It, the whole time, like the first time we did the studio here, I'm like, why didn't anybody just say, why the fuck are we in this hellhole when we can be somewhere <laughs> really nice? I'm like, oh, we're slumming up. We went through this. We went through this. Cred. We went through this. This is a great show. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome back. I did the real adult thing. We had people over. Cassie is my wife. Her father. Her stepmother, Hi, her sister, her sister's three boys all came over. No problems. Had the boys entertained. They're a religious family, the sister. So they're like, they don't like guns and all of that. So if you guys got, uh, hey, you, hey you Uncle whip, Corey. You didn't whip out your guns on them? <laughs> I did show, not. Show them the AK? I did not. <laughs> tell them it was a good day? <laughs> I, I didn't even catch You showed them your friend Lorenzo? <laughs> I didn't catch that yeah, until uh, the rhyme. But yeah, everything went smooth. Her dad fell asleep. It was classic. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, my uh, Thanksgiving was all right. Uh, my family ditched me. They oh. all did their own thing. <laughs> and then I had to spend it with my wife's family, which was not too bad. Nice. It was all right. It wasn't it too bad, went. huh? Yeah, it was, it was tolerable. Nice. <laughs> yeah. But, it, yeah, it was okay. all right. No all right. arguments. So uh, yeah. I actually hung out with uh, Dom P. Nice. On uh, Thanksgiving? So, yeah, because oh, Dom, nice. so Dom P usually hangs out with his brother for Thanksgiving. And... His brother allegedly caught the COVID. Oh, boy. But from what I heard, it was a false positive because, like, they ha- they thought he had it, um, Nick's brother, or Dom P's brother, and then, like, I guess he didn't. So, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. So, uh, either way, I spent Thanksgiving with them, which was awesome because uh, if, if we didn't, yo, bro, I was about to have a uh, – Capriotti's Thanksgiving, dude. It's about to get a Bobby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I usually, and the funny thing is, I I usually, (laughs) I usually cook, I usually don't eat turkey on Thanksgiving. I don't know if people know that. Hmm. Not only. So, um, you don't eat eat Mm, turkey on Thanksgiving? So, all right, right, I'm lying. I eat turkey on Thanksgiving, but I don't cook it. I follow. So, I cook roast duck. Oh, okay. Because, Despite, You're Asian. Yeah, despite my appearance, <laughs> I am actually Asian. <laughs> and so every year my mom would make roast duck and sticky rice. And Sounds when really she, you know, reason. not around no more, that's what I want. So I, yeah. I learned how she's to make roast. She's just not in the state? No, yeah, she's she's uh, living with my sister in another Man. state. So. Okay. So I stepped into that one pretty brave, but as it came <laughs> out. No, you're right. No, you're right. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, like, Alzheimer's? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Mom. <laughs> no, but, uh, <laughs> but, no, so, like, uh, she, she, the, the technology is a motherfucker. She video chatted me and showed me how to do it. And I usually do pretty good every year. I, I forget to put, like, one thing in every fucking time. But I, I haven't fucking, uh, I haven't mastered, like, trying to make sticky dice. I buy that. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm not fucking around with that shit. That's too much work. <laughs> That's so, the real uh, deal. Yeah. <laughs> but it's funny because I told my mom, like, so I don't even like the roast duck unless we have what's called nam pick. And nam pick is uh, like a hot sauce okay. that goes on it. And and I'm telling you, so we I make a bowl of this shit. Like, you're going to bathe in it or something? Okay. Like, it's, it's huge. <laughs> and you get, like, a teaspoonful and put it around the whole thing. Your whole plate. <laughs> but I have a barrel full of this shit, dude. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, literally, the homeboy, shout out to Gorilla. That fool's the only one, like, he, like, drinks it. Is it spicy? It's hot as fuck. <laughs> hot spicy as fuck. Tea? He's like, yo, can I get this to go? <laughs> and I'm just like, I, I guess. I, um, I am interested in making Thai food. Every time I go to a Thai place, I, I like Thai food. I got no problem with the spices. 
there is a, a certain flavor that I think all of them have in common. And I'm like, is that something that I can buy at the store? Mm -hmm. Or is it a mixture of things? Th no, no. It's, it's so th it's, I don't know if it's something, it's got to be something you can buy at the store for sure. But it's also something they're bred with because my mom being <laughs> it just smells ghetto like fabulous. That. It just smells like that. And <laughs> no, like she that was just like, I, look, <laughs> th this whole fucking like I'm not from this country shit. Yeah, yeah. She been playing that card for a long <laughs> time, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I, so, like, I can relate. My yeah. mom. <laughs> I so, want to hear that story too. <laughs> I remember my mom as a as a young man. I remember like giving me some some like uh, uh, medicine that I didn't want. No, no, baby, it's Jello. Shit wasn't Jello. You know what I'm saying? Remember the story I told you about uh, my mom like saying like, you know, we say this Thai word and she'd be like, oh, okay. And then we go say it somewhere else. People are like, what the fuck are you saying, dude? Like, did I tell you about that? No. Okay, so like, <clears throat> for instance, like, um, nom means uh, uh, shit. Yum. I, I think nom no, nom 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 no, 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 not nom nom. <laughs> it's specific. Like nom means. I thought far. it meant ice. Op nom means take a bath. So Are like nom, 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 I thought meant ice for all these years. Mm. So I'm like, mom, can I get some nom? And she knew what we were talking about, so she get us ice. That's so beautiful. I went in public one day. I'm like, yeah, That's I can get nom. They're like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> That's awesome. You fake ass Thai <laughs> <laughs> dude. And I'm no. like, mom, what the fuck, dude? You embarrassed me. She's like, oh, no, I, I, I knew what you were saying. <laughs> and I'm like, how the fuck are you just gonna let us go out there like that? You know what I'm saying? And like, this the type of shit she does. So. That applies with cooking. So she was like, oh, I'm going to make spaghetti. So you're like, oh, spaghetti. And you're like, hey, something's weird about, oh, I made a Thai style. Well, you didn't say you were going to make Thai spaghetti. <laughs> you know That's what I'm saying? Funny. You said you were going to make spaghetti. I invited you know my saying? white friends. Right. And then the same thing, like, <laughs> she, would, she would make curry sometimes, and then, like, you just didn't know which curry you were going to get. I've never had curry. Oh, Have you? Curry's oh, delicious. Gosh, the only I've thing never I get. had curry. It's Every delicious. time I go to any Thai, like, all right, so, huh, I, around the corner for me, there's this I Thai restaurant. Yeah, and I was talking bad about it because they took over like an old Chinese spot, and then the plates were only like eight bucks a pop. So I was like, "This is all fucking wanna be fucking." Uh, uh, is that this Chinese place here where Dairy food. Queen used to be? God damn, my mom didn't come in town, and we ordered there. And I was like, "This shit is fucking good." <laughs> I was like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> and same thing, their hotness only goes up to five. Okay, so the five. Your boy is did their three, team. and I was. <sighs> it's oh good. Boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It makes your nose runny and everything. Where, where, where is this place? Right by on the corner of uh, uh, right next to the Nevada State Bank on like Craig and Jones. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, up there. Oh, well, right next neighborhood to the UPS Walmart. store. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yep, thank you. Yep. It's huh. legit, bro. I didn't know. Didn't okay, know. good. I, I, I was, I'm not going to lie, man. I, I snubbed my nose at that place a lot. Like, yeah, it's <laughs> legit time. You know, you know, you know, uh, <laughs> Cassie, know people. Cassie was just talking about that recently. Uh, you guys ever been on the 95 uh, and it's the Lake Mead exit. And uh, it's right now it's a crab seafood like buffet thing. But it's a restaurant that's uh, right there. If you were on the 95 heading south. Uh, you would go right, and if you got off at Lake Mead, you'd be right there at the restaurant. But what she's getting at is if a restaurant changes names X amount of times within five years, as people, we won't have faith in it. Like yeah, that place, yeah, that yeah. location that you're talking about right. has changed names a gang of times. A gang of times. Well, you know, and, and not to mention, it, 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 they've all been like, those Chinese kind of places. Foods. Yeah. It's all been like, like wannabe China, China or Panda Express type deals and, and, and once again, you know, us Asians, we, you know, <laughs> we say, you know, Asian pride, wink, wink, when y'all <laughs> motherfuckers are looking at us. But once again, when y'all ain't looking, I'm like, man, I don't even fuck with them Chinese motherfuckers. Like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, That's funny. <laughs> yeah, we used to go to this place called um, Kung Fu. Down on Spring. Mountain. No, no, that's no, up. That's, no. That's, nah, I'm with no, it's you. No, it's on uh, Spring Mountain and Desert Inn, I think. You oh, been that's, there? That's legit. You been there? <laughs> Have you been there for real? I have no idea. No, I thought you were making this shit up. Oh no, dude. <laughs> I seen the used movies. To be the <laughs> that used to be the place, dude. But after a while, it just kind of died. Like the flavor wasn't there anymore. Like yeah. you, you, you could know, tell everything was microwaved. You know it wasn't I've fresh had a, anymore. I've had a bunch of places that were like, um legit original spots or whatever and that's what they they made their money on being that home quality yeah. meal type shit 
and then they kind of franchised out a little bit. And well, how do we get profit margins? Well, let's stop buying that Angus beef and get that fucking mm, bullshit yeah, yeah, beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're like, hey, I don't know. Some place, if for some reason, it tastes like dog shit now, and, and you know, it turns into Roberto's. You guys like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, walked right into you that. You know what, dude? <laughs> I, I just always why I shit on Roberto's. Is I used to I love fall, Roberto's. I man. fall for the the beef burritos and shit all the time. Yeah. And every time I'd walk away there with bubble guts, dude. And I should just uh, learn. Yeah. It was it's not Roberto's. Just don't yeah. get the beef. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Funny. Like, no. but maybe it's changed. They it's gave been a me while. the runs twice already. Like, they gave me runs once. I'm like, fuck. All right, I'm gonna give him one more chance. You know. A couple years later, I got runs again. I've never been since. I was like, no, fuck Roberto's. R- Roberto's turned into ponchos, yeah? I have no idea. Roberto's D- is still depends around. On, it depends on which, which location you're at. Nice. Our location, <laughs> yes. We got ponchos. Yes. <laughs> and then <laughs> there's a Don, Don, Dor- okay, it's Don the same Tacos fucking, right It's the same the employees. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's the, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah it is it's the nothing same. Nothing's the same dude. You're like, hey, I, did this. <laughs> I thought you guys went under. Like, yeah, I'm still employed, bro. <laughs> Yeah. That Don, that Don place. My grandma, she's sick. Oh, that's another thing. I mean, we'll see if we'll get into it. We've got enough time. We've only been here eleven minutes, folks. Strap in. What about oh, Pepe's tacos? Like you guys like Pepe's up. tacos? I've never had it. No. Mm. We, my grandma got sick. You, my, you, me you know my what? Wife said we we're gonna go start going to places. Went to Don, whatever the new place on Rancho. They didn't even have menus for KFC. <laughs> and it was like, it, it, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's funny. <laughs> Just say what you want and we'll make it up hey, on the spot. You know what I mean? Like, so, you want to hear something funny? I don't know how it is now, but uh, one day when I was working at the other other building, the homie came in. So on Bonanza and Las Vegas Boulevard, there, oh. there's, a, there's a roach coach. Okay. And, you know, I, normally I don't fuck with that shit. Yeah. But the homie came in and brought us in a meal. And God damn it, if it wasn't the best fucking taco That's plate I've ever had in my life. So your daddy's over there on fucking Whew. Bonanza. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Risking it. And I was, I was dying laughing, dude. This fucking. All right. So the, the homeboy that the, the, um, the essay that was making my that took my money. So there's a dude in the cart making the food, uh-huh. and there's a dude taking the money. Okay. Right? <laughs> and so there was some homeless dudes <laughs> trying to like, hey, man, you know what I mean? This dude was shooting away like pigeons. That's I was great. dying laughing. I probably oh, shouldn't have been. Man. But he was like, hey, hey. <laughs> and I was just like, bro, this is a person. And I was just, I'm dying laughing, bro. Like, yeah. just like, oh, my God. Dude, this is really happening right now. This is so fucking funny. And I'm just Yo. filling up my little condiments for my hot sauce and shit, dude. And the shit is legit, bro. Like, you just legit. You're just going through life. You're like, ah, this is it. My, my job is so bad that I got to be a... Uh, Who's, who's a black dude from Fifth Element? Our uh, Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker. Go, 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 go. <laughs> but he said it was so much more flair. It was so great, bro. <laughs> I am that dude. Like, I guess I'm that's being old. Like, if I see some shit go down, I, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see how this works out. Yeah, like, I like to watch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a people like watcher, watch, bro. I'm like, yeah, I, got, I got a drink right here. Yeah. I got a popcorn. You're saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, saying I will that. watch the yeah. fuck out of this shit, yeah. dude. You watched the homeless breakup, didn't you? Almost. <laughs> they they kept I, it together. I, I, I hurt, no, I <laughs> they, turned my they neck, worked dude. It out. I turned. I hurt my neck. I was like, <laughs> you I, hurt your neck. I, I wasn't sure if I should stop or not. And I was like, I don't know how far this is go because I don't know if I really want to see him whoop her ass. <laughs> like, but she's kind of asking mean, for I'm it. But I am invested. Like for it. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm got to keep five it real, minutes on my break. <laughs> like, let's see where this man. goes. That's good stuff. I, think I had milk in the car or something. It was a hot day. Jimmy. You you did the duck for Thanksgiving. I did not this year. Oh, usually I do. This year, no negative. What did you say you did? I didn't do shit. I went over to uh, Tom P's house. Oh yes, and, and let him uh, him and his wife um, make a great deal. Um, what his brother do? It got COVID. Okay. Yes. Is he all right? Is he feeling? Uh, it turns out does he, he doesn't have, like, have COVID. Cra- so does he have crazy? Symptoms. It was like a false negative. But does he has no symptoms himself? Does he still I haven't have really talked to him, but I, I guess he got a test. It came up positive, hmm. and then was he there at Thanksgiving? Well, the vaccine is out now. No, that's why. That's why we spent uh, Thanksgiving with Don P because Don P usually goes over to his brother's house. Oh, okay. But I his see brother what you're was saying, like, huh? "Hey, just in case, we don't want to risk anything." Okay. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Nice. You know, so like that's, that's just the. 
Nice. The way it's been going around. Yeah, well, the vaccine is out now, I guess, and they're trying to push it out. It already like hit the streets? I, I guess. It's like 95% effective is what they're saying, which is more than, <laughs> more the than regular we flu. Expected. Yeah, because the regular flu is only like 67. 90, 96% uh, 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 accuracy rate, and then like the black population of Mexicans can drop off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro. I told you it's working. It's working. <laughs> I, told you, it's working. I told you, proud boys. Some casualties. Keep your heads you know, up. I might be going out, baby, but I got you. I got you. Got you. <laughs> Remember me. Fuck yeah, <laughs> man. But uh, there's a debate still. Like I guess uh, healthcare workers are getting it first, but and then they're having a debate about whether old people should get it or not. Hmm. Because, I, heard, you know, I heard the debate. <laughs> Bert Kreischer is hilarious. <laughs> what? Old, old yeah, people dude. are Mexicans. He's like, oh, give it to the family. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> Fuck those Mexicans. No, uh, but I guess it's old people and, and young people. Yeah. And Too that's, young? Like, well, no, 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 no. Because the young, like, from like 18 to 20 year olds, the ones that are still partying, okay. they're the ones like, YOLO, fuck it. You know, I don't believe spreading. it. Blah, blah, blah. You know, and it's spreading. And then the old people are the ones actually like really dying. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, okay. don't don't get me wrong. The the guys our age are catching it, and some of them are getting fucked up, and some of them are not. Mm -hmm. But that's why I keep telling people like, this is why it's so scary because people, you know, they're like, oh, the flu kills. Yeah, the flu does kill people, but we know for the most part what's gonna happen. Yeah. We know yeah. if you get the flu, you're probably gonna get this. You get a little fever, you get sick, and and come down. The the case of this dying, this this is like we don't know. Yeah, you know what, what I'm saying? Like, we, we don't know, like, happen. we don't know what triggers this fucking audible kick. We don't know what triggers the, the you know, like, we, we can't figure it out. We thought if it was healthy, but it turns out that fucking, you know, uh, Olympic athletes are getting it. You don't get much healthier than that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, fucking, yeah. so it, we just don't know. You can't say, oh, if I just, you know, I work out, I'll be fine. It, you know, I was going with that route for a while, but apparently that's not true. Adamar, you know, what's so. your family's vaccine? What do you guys do? Uh, about what? Just about like the flu in general? No, I mean like this pandemic. Oh. Like you have a kid. Oh, you got my, a fresh baby somewhere. Yeah? yeah, we don't go out anywhere. We just stay at home. The most we do is go out to the park. That's yeah. it. And ju that's just to get the kid out of the house. You know what I mean? Nice. And that's away from people. Put dirt. Like, eat that shit. <laughs> yeah. Build that immune system, system up. Yeah. yeah, other than that. You dog your shit, bro. Come here. <laughs> we're following <laughs> protocols as best as we could, you know? I mean, like, we have to work. And my, my wife works in a health at a hospital, so, you know, she takes the precautions seriously. She comes home. She showers. She takes off all her clothes before she goes Whoa, upstairs she to shower. she showers? Nice. <laughs> Should we do that? <laughs> yes. So, she, uh, yeah, she does all the necessary things. I don't mean necessary to uh, Jimbo interrupt us, you, but... So, uh, the gyms are still open here, and I, I have was been there going. Today. Where are you? Yes. Okay. So, Adamar? which which are your your LV, LVAC? Lake no, Adamar curls forty ounces. You don't. Yeah. You don't yeah. Yes, well, it's not dog. a forty, but twelve Hell ounces is yes, hands. You, know, you do multiple reps, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you this: So, uh, is in that gym is like, are you supposed to clean before and after? They don't. They don't make you clean. The uh, owner. Of course they don't. The, the so <laughs> Good so luck. Then, so that's the <laughs> so then the owner. He does a uh, spiel on the uh, video now, and they and they'll turn the music off and turn him up, and uh, he'll be like, "Yo, dude, no problem. I got headphones a, it's for It's all that. whatever." Does he come on intimidating? Yo, clean the machine nah, when you're done, nah. brother. He does, but he's like 65 pounds. He's like really skinny. He's like, "Come on, brother." <laughs> he, co he comes on and he's like, uh, "Hey, dude, I understand that we're all at the gym, and if you're doing a high intensity workout and you feel like pulling your mask down, please don't. And if you have to pull your mask down." Maybe you should th rethink your workout just for all of us for what's going really? on right now. Like, he broke down, like, hey, you guys see what's happening? Because at the gym, it's a free for all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's well, see, it's, oh, it's so. It's a lot of. That's why I breathing. laugh, dude. Because I'm like, everyone's like, hur, hur, hur. I'm like, well, look, dude, it's only going to work if everyone participates and good luck. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't. I've met all my friends and put them in the room. They can't order pizza. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> fucking good luck. Pepperoni, so no pineapple. The point I'm getting at is, dude, like, pineapple. so, like, they'll wear it to get in or whatever, and regardless of political beliefs or whatever, but they'll, they'll like, so one of the things before, like, even Arnold got mad at, like, Gold's. Because, Arnie. yeah, old Arnie. Because when you work out, when you actually, like, bench press or something, mm -hmm. they say you can pull your mask off. But to, and it's like, well, that's when you're, pushing out and breathing shit out the most. Mm -hmm. So that's when you want to wear your mask. But then you got all these people, oh, I've got restrictions. But I'm like, 
Dude, two years ago, the fucking high altitude masks were the big shit, and everybody yeah. was fucking wearing them. Yeah. Now that you have to wear it, oh, I don't want to wear it. Yeah. You know that, what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah. that I, is the mentality I go all right, in with. So, <laughs> so I wear my mask the entire time and don't take it off. Uh huh. But <laughs> at the gym I'm at, I'm at, they encourage you to spray the machine before and after. Okay. And I do not do that. Nice. Oh, damn. And I look yeah, like a scumbag mark. because I come in there straight after work in my alleged street clothes yeah, yeah. because I got my, my dicky work pants on because I okay. came in there to do work. My, my good chain wallet and, nice. and a you know, shirt or whatever. You don't That's have gym shorts like the rest of us is I, what you're saying. I have dicky shorts. Is what, oh, okay. Yes, I follow. They're work pants. They're work shorts. They say work in the fucking when I bought them. They say work <laughs> pants. Sir? Sir? Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm this dude's going to out squat me because he's got basketball <laughs> shorts. Sir. And mine says Dickies, but he's going to out squat me. Well, are they Jordans, uh, man? You, like they're man. popular. They're nice. <laughs> sir, sir, you have your street attire on. Did you pay your monthly bill? <laughs> what did you say your name was? Oh, man. Jim but, uh, Bo? And, and so they. they yeah. <laughs> that first and last? Uh, so they, 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 <laughs> they have uh, little stickers on the equipment. Like a yellow and blue uh-huh. that everyone disregards. Yeah. And they're like, you can't, so you can use this one, not, not that one. And I just play dumb, like, I don't even fucking, I'll sit there and look at the dude, like, like, like if Adam Mars, the guy working there, like, he'll look at me, I'll look at him and just right back, and he'll just be like, <laughs> <sighs> and he'll just, yeah, it, it's a free for all at that gym, too. So <sighs> what's crazier is this gym lets you carry bags mm-hmm. while you work out. Like yeah. in the gym, like you can't, you don't have to put them in the locker. So or nothing? the LV he goes to, you can't go on the floor with your backpack. Oh, shit. gym bag. That's not it anymore. Okay. Huh? That's not it anymore. It's you like can yours. do that now, right? You can now because they closed. because they closed the lockers. Correct. See, ah, okay. and that's scary as shit. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody with How a fucking that? time bomb. Well, because it's scary as shit. Because these big motherfuckers still parry guns. That's oh. <laughs> so they got their oh, guns in the man. gym bag, bro. <laughs> oh, like, man. so you got this dude testosterone out, <laughs> big as shit, and got a gun? And now you just yeah. touched butt cheek to butt cheek? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> literally I'm hoping he oh, liked it. Yeah. Don't fight oh, the feeling, God. sir. I felt his tense up. He didn't I, I like got that. A, I, I know a dude at work. He's probably going to hate that. I hope he's not listening. I don't care. <laughs> a guy at work, at, uh, he told me that... <laughs> <laughs> so he works out before he goes to work. We go to work late, late. You know, we work the graveyard shift. And he was in the uh, in the LV doing his thing. And he saw, you know, it's late. So in the twilight hours, nobody's really there at the gym. And so there's like one other dude, like I, I fucking him nice. on the floor at the gym or whatever, right? <laughs> and so I guess like somehow, like he went after he worked out, he went to go like go take a shower. And the dude like tried to like spring up on him in the shower oh, or something. No. And he was like, oh, he's like, but he like he didn't know what to do, so he just hurried up and shower. <laughs> 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 I just left and was just like scarred and shit, bro. I was like, well man, be be appreciative that you know, you're good enough that another sex might want you. <laughs> yeah, you know what awesome. Good thing he didn't take it. <laughs> he didn't take it. <laughs> you might have to revoke your membership. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come here, sweetness. And it goes to that, 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 uh, that, how much would you take? How much would it cost? <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's funny. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, that's too much. Adamar. Adamar, do you have, uh, a subject for me today? A subject for you? Yeah. Like history? Yeah, I got a history <laughs> subject. <laughs> I got I a history failed subject. that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of the, me. the uh, longest running sports action. What do you the, really know about sports? The longest WWE. Running, the longest running, <laughs> I think he calls it sports action TV show. Tosh.0 oh just did its last episode. Oh, oh no. Comedy Central oh, no. last Thursday. You know what? Now I might finally binge it. Wait, was it the season finale or was it like so, a series finale? So that's the thing. Finale. So you know how he is. He's been playing it He's like we got we didn't get we didn't get picked up again. Yeah. So we got canceled. Which could be easily Googled. Well, yeah. so, oh, okay, so, so he's he's putting it like, hey, this is my last episode on Comedy Central. It so is. All the, the oh, whole, it is. So he's he's making it seem like he might get picked up, but no, 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 I, no, no. I don't know. Right, so so com- Comedy Central doesn't want to pay the money. Nice. And to be honest with you, dude, like, fuck. I haven't had a cable box in how long? Yeah. I haven't watched so many episodes of Tosh.0 because I don't have. Yeah. And it's exclusively on 
Comedy Central. Yeah, yeah it's a, I got it. Uh, I have a, uh, a friend that uh, the judge that that uh, uh, Judge Ned gave me a access to YouTube TV. Oh, it's nice. On there also. Is it? Okay. I, I need to check that out because there's a couple things I, I need to but watch. But yeah, it, it was shocking to see that uh, he was going off air. I was like, oh, man, that's what, crazy. Did so he, like you know what? Said, he fucked me up, dude, because like, all right, if you, f- I, I only followed like, the first like four seasons. Okay. You know, like hard, all right? So if you watch the first, the very first season, he did some questionably gay shit. Yeah. And looked at the camera and was like, I swear I'm not gay. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, he did. <laughs> and then he got more shit for it. And he's like, well, let me run with this. Nice. And then as the years went on, he just started doing more and more questionably gay shit. And because I knew he's not gay, but he would do it because it was funny and pissing people off, I thought that was funny. So then I started doing questionably gay material, <laughs> and I don't have a, I'm not a co- comedian at all, so I don't know where, I'm doing this in parking lots and fucking at the bar and shit, so people are, it's, it's really questionable now, you know what I'm saying, and it's just, I'm and just I, doing an and I think it's even hilarious because I'm like, they're totally in the dark, you know what I'm saying, like, it's a, <laughs> <laughs> is that dumb or what, dude? Like, I think it's no, hilarious. No, no, that's no. great right now. But I don't want to get TMI. Yeah, it's but good, being half Asian, us. I would run with the, the little dick joke and the big dick joke because either way, it's funny to me. And by the time you find out, it's going to be over. Nice. Like, it's going to be nice. <laughs> it's going to be too late. I like but, that. like, yeah. I like it, but that. either way, like, but Tosh fucked me up because I do think it was funny to say questionably gay jokes after that. People are like, hmm. I'm like, bro, Tosh, he. It's funny. Yeah. Somebody else, I think it was me and Adam, are, I, uh, I chimed in on a conversation. A lot of uh, comedians are like, uh, you know, you got to be a little more politically correct. They're, they're all angry about how politically correct. Tosh Point, I was one, or Tosh, Daniel Tosh is one of those comedians that never stopped, that never no, censored that's himself. Good. But he went hard and on everybody. Yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah. So, yeah. So he, and he that's never good. got afraid. He was like... Uh, no, this He's, is. I'm just gonna roll with <laughs> double it. down. Yeah. He took the diva roll. I fucking love yeah, it, dude. Yeah, dude, me too. So I like that. All right, shout out to the homie Joe Fro. Long time we did a, a Dumont stint, right? So we were being racist, and uh, <laughs> so you know the the racist joke. Uh, black guys have incredibly big dicks, and they all like, oh, I'm 12 inches, blah blah blah. Right? Racist joke. That's a that's a racist joke. We'll wait for nine eight to get here, but please, sir, continue. Nine eight, yeah. He says nine eight because he's nine inches long and eight inches girth. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous, bro. Please, please continue, God sir. Just, right. Just Anyways, <laughs> so just tell us your story. You know, a lot, you know, so we, we were saying like you know a lot of black folks were like, all right, twelve inches. You know, they're, they're always saying twelve inches. So and so we heard that the average is like five inches or something. So clearly, we're above average. Yeah. Right. Nice. So we said a gentleman's length would be eight and a half. <laughs> gentleman's <laughs> length. Ooh, ooh, the gentleman's ooh, length. Ooh, Me and the homie ooh. Joe. I need a top. And so hat. forever <laughs> we've been saying like eight and a half, and he's like Rubbin's racing, and I don't like, I don't know where the Rubbin's racing came from, dude. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and so we are all drunk at Dumont, and everybody's passed out, and so we're like, hey man, go fucking wake people up by rubbing their leg and say, hey Rubbin's racing, and fucking, and so. Like, yeah, so you're sleeping, nice. and he's rubbing your leg, and he's, like, whispering in your ear, hey, man, Rubbin's racing. And you wake up, like, what the fuck? What, what dude, is what, happening? Dude's yeah. touch, what the fuck? Get the fuck <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the joke, right? <laughs> so we did it to a couple guys. Like, uh, Joe was like, yeah, fuck it, I'll do it, man. So we went and did it, and a couple guys, and, and it worked. We were laughing, ha, ha, ha. And then we did it to one homie. And he did it, and he woke up. He's like, "Hey!" And he's like, oh. Oh. So "Joe came running out." <laughs> oh. <laughs> the shit backfires. <laughs> hey! hey, hey. <laughs> and then we got locked out. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! But I mean, like, you know, it, it, people are like, well, it, "It's it's funny when you're not because it's what makes it funnier." Like, yeah. I don't know, man. Like, so I had a, I see. one of the homie. <laughs> uh, he go. His construction name is Gomer. He, he'll know. Gil really know who it is. So I brought him to the double down one time. And you know the double down's in the Fruit Loop, right? Yeah. Hello. Oh, yeah. And so I apparently there was a drag queen in the corner of the bar or some shit like that. And so the next day I was like, hey, man, where, where'd you go? He's like, oh, man, drag queen in the corner of the bar, man. So I was laughing like, what did he say to you? <laughs> he like, hit on you or what? <laughs> yeah. Did you go like this? No. <laughs> what did he say to you? And I was like, he's like, uh, 
So, uh, it's like that. so uh, <laughs> I was like, well, why'd you leave? Drag. I'm like, bro, I hate to break it to you, man. You're not really as good looking as you think you are, man. Like, they, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, bro, they're not really worried built. about you, bro. Like, I guarantee you notice him a lot more than he noticed you, <laughs> bro. Like, <laughs> calm the fuck down, bro. They're just people. <laughs> like, <laughs> he didn't even say anything to you. Yeah. You were just like, nah, he wants all this dick. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. I know, I got a sweet ass. I've been doing squats. <laughs> I'm out of this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jeez. Uh, so, uh, Tosh.0. Oh, love it. Is he going to go to another network? I'd like to see him uh, go to another network. Uh, you know HBO's what? He's, he's one of the dudes that never went on a podcast or nothing, dude. He don't do podcasts yeah. or anything. No do interviews. He might do his he's own awesome, YouTube dude. channel or I'm, something. I he remember could. at one point on the show, he was like, he compared himself to, to Ashton Kushner and the punk show. And he had the two cameras going. Like every time he turned his head, he was looking at a new camera. Nice. And then at once at one point he turned his head and he's like, "This is the easiest fucking show in the world. <laughs> Why would you quit this?" And he looked at another camera. He's like, "I'm gonna do this forever for as long as I fucking can. I'm gonna yeah. be here doing this fucking show." He did it. And so he's giving shout outs. Uh, it's the season of mourning. If you know how he how he rolls. Unfortunately, his other dog passed away. Oh. Might be ruining too much. It's all good stuff. He does all good stand-up. Spoiler stuff. alert. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, there is no. You got marshmallow on your watch? Yeah, that's what I think the, uh, so the face of that's my watch. That's what I watch, think it is. <laughs> that's what I think it is. <laughs> I'm pretty I got to sure. get my nephew to tell me. <laughs> that's, that's dubstep right there. I understand. Dubstep. That's dubstep. You got to be a fan uh, to understand You heard that. of him? He's a good guy. Uh, I forget what I was going at, Tosh.0. Oh, no, and. Uh, <laughs> Tosh.0, oh, great show. Oh, he's him. doing the season of mourning. He's giving shout outs to everybody at, at Comedy Central that helped him along the way. Oh, there's like five people. He's going, <laughs> well, he's, 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 he's being super, uh, super I don't generous, know. huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good, man. And then well, also, uh-huh. he is a comedian first, dude, and those comedians have like a, a weird little pack, man. So, like, oh. believe it or not, like, if you're a good comedian, like, like, uh, that's why like, the Todd Glass dude gets that annoying Todd Glass Todd segment. You're Glass. like, why, why is it? So? He's actually a good comedian, and they, they try to, like, I don't know. The one time I seen him out here, I swear he was drunk, but he said he doesn't get drunk. So it's <laughs> weird, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I'm like, they say that, but when people come to Vegas, that's like the one time, well, you know, it's Vegas. So, yeah, you know. They find that excuse anywhere they go, I'm sure. Oh, it's Minneapolis. There's nothing to do here. That's Let's get funny. drunk. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I'm I, sure. From what I understand, a lot of comedians are alcoholics. Um, <laughs> just go ahead and sweep that That's up. The life. <laughs> Move to my next topic. Well, yeah, I mean, like they're at bars every night, you know, trying to tell jokes. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure they get free drinks because, all night. Because I like the guy. I like the guy, John Mulaney. I think he's hilarious. Yeah. Cassie, Cassie is the one who introduced him to me. Introduced his comedy to me. Oh I yeah. He, didn't tickets. he just get fucking YouTube or something? <laughs> he got or you. me too. Oh, did he? I, do, they all are. He's he's been married for a minute. It wasn't you, me too. You YouTubed. It wasn't <laughs> it wasn't me too. It, 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 something he got into one. He got involved in one. It was like one, a woman thing, but it was something like he said and got him like, oh god, you can't say that. And, oh, you know, one, one of those, those things. Yeah. It's yeah. like, bro, how am I supposed to be funny if I'm supposed to yeah. if I can't? Okay, I see. You know, like, we're talking about how things. Tosh never never. Uh, got yeah, but as a comedian, you're supposed to yeah. exercise your. Your rights to fucking say whatever you want and try to make whatever you want funny. It could yep. be anything well, bad, but it, look, as long man, as you make it funny, it's a joke. People well, laugh. It's like this you know too, I mean? man. If you're taking risks, they don't all work out. That's, exactly. You, know you got to work like, on it. So it's kind of like I, I don't watch baseball or know anything about it, but uh, I guess the Babe Ruth thing. He struck out more than he hit home runs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I believe it. I but when he hit that home run, it was spectacular. Pitch, yeah. That's what you're holding your Watch, breath for. Uh, Jim Jeffries' new stand-up. He he touches on that also. He's like, man, dude, when I when I went for it and I stuck to the edge, it was a fucking joke, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fucking. I wanted it to work too. Okay. <laughs> I hate these blank looks. <laughs> Well, it open mouth looking at him. Like, I uh, got caught up in some Me Too shit. He didn't say that, but that's what he was getting at. Like, I went for it, and it fell flat, and fuck you, I wanted it to be funny. Man, <laughs> the person, I, you ever done that with, like, a group of people? It's like, says some <laughs> shit, and people just look at you like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, like, every Insert day. Insert foot here, yeah. into yeah. mouth. I'm going to leave now, guys. <laughs> no, but the, the one comedian that could explain everything 
the way that will make sense is Patrice O'Neill. I don't know if you guys heard of him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, oh, yeah. this guy would explain situations and make sense of it, like, in a in a way where you're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Like, I don't know. This so guy was a love. genius. That's dude. what I love uh, Unfortunately, about comedy. I, I didn't hear about him until, like, right before he died. Uh, yeah. Like, I seen him get lit up on, uh, on one of the roasts. A- Amy Schumer pretty oh, much made her shit. career off him. No, Ben Bailey. I don't know if you know who that is. I think someone else wrote his jokes for the Patrice O'Neill fucking roast, but he was burning him and everybody on the panel, like, deep cuts to, to where, like, people were like, <laughs> well, So, so the, the thing that was fucked up about it, I don't know if you watched it. No, I don't know so the comedian So Patrice O'Neill was actually already diagnosed with a diabetes. Like, he was actually dying from diabetes yeah. when he did this show. Oh, yeah. Like, he was already diagnosed, like, you only have this much time to live because of your diabetes. And everybody was fucking roasting his ass, dude. And he's like, yo, Nothing man, but diabetes fuck jokes you, man. I'm fucking shit. dying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. And he yeah, literally died like the year, within a year. Yeah. It got yeah. not funny no, in the like, show? It, it, like, to me, it felt like not funny and shit. But I heard, like, different things. Like, cause they do go hard. Yeah. But it it's was a roast, like, It know? just seemed like, I don't know, man. Because, like, he was kind of like the only black dude there. Like it, was one of those, it was kind of one of those ones. That hurts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So like, and then Amy Schumer at the time was this unheard fucking yeah. blonde oh, hair white girl. Hard too. But she was unheard of at the time. Yeah. Like, like I could after imagine. this roast is when Comedy Central was like, so hey, that, let's give you a show huh. and let's and and like you know she went and like uh, apparently I don't know allegedly apologized or, uh, you know like hey you know and they're like no I was you know it's cool but it's yeah, like oh yeah I follow what you're but saying you know, she was respectful so, like, about it so afterward. same thing like I remember Cat Williams was talking about that's why I don't do the roast no more because you know there's a script for it I follow and so he did the um the uh which one the flavor flav roast okay oh, man, and he did you've see, you seen his yeah. comedy special right when he was like I did the roast with him and he was like oh I fucking you know seen the script showed up to the fucking day of the show. Nigga this, nigga that, nigga this, nigga that. And he's like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck's with all this shit, dude? Crispity nigga this, crispity nigga that. Yeah. And Flavor, how you gonna let these motherfuckers? They gonna pay me. You know mm. what I'm saying? They can call me whatever the fuck. They gonna pay me. And he's that. like, yo, I never thought I'd learn anything from this fucking dude here. But I just, you know, apparently he's right. They gonna pay me. He said, that. but that's why I won't do him no more because they didn't stick to the script. Like, this was the script we were supposed mm. to go with. And they kind of right. ad-libbed it. And now we're about to film. What are you gonna do? You gonna take this money or not? Uh, and like, yeah, mm, that's right. he said, I already spent the motherfucking money. I already fucking right? had no choice but to do it. Uh, exactly. You know what I'm saying? We already but paid rent. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, bro. And that's the kind of shit. Uh, and that's what uh, Dave Chappelle, I don't know if you talk, seen that he got. He no, took, I talked to Dave yesterday. Yeah, you talked to him? <laughs> yeah. My man. So I don't know if you heard, he had his Chappelle show was on Netflix. Oh, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Did you hear I about watched that? the first few episodes. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't. So know what happened was he hosted. The SNL, the night, um, I guess Biden allegedly won, depending on who you ask. Yeah. And um, and he was saying yeah. about, okay, so Comedy Central sold that to Netflix. And so basically, he didn't get a dime out of this thing. He was uh, saying about how his grandfather was a slave, and he got sold less than Dave Chappelle did. Uh, and he was saying that, like, you know, Netflix needs to take it down because, like, dude, not only did I not, you know, I'm not making any money off this, but you know I had problems with Comedy Central over this. You know uh, what I'm saying? That's funny. And we yeah. had, that's all, that's a whole other reason there. And then they're going to sell it to you and you're going to just, like, put it up and not give me no money. So they, they took it down. I'm sure they're going to figure something out. But, yeah, yeah. you know, but I don't know. But that's kind of like, Ugh. reminds me of, like, the Misfits and all this fucking suing and shit like that. Misfits. What's he talking about, Adam Mark? Misfits? I have no idea. You don't know what? What? About the Misfits? Yeah, yeah I know about the Misfits, oh, but the I don't Misfits. know, like, everything Adam about Mark them. Like, right I, just I sent you, uh, well, let's plug a better podcast. So if anybody's listening to this, uh, there's a better podcast called uh, Lost, uh, No Dogs in Space. No Who? Dogs in Space. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's a, a stupid name. It really is. But <laughs> it is. It, it's, a, it's because uh, the dude's girlfriend... I forgot the name of the song, but she thought it's, that's what it said on the hook was No Dogs in Space. Uh-huh. It, it doesn't say that at all. Okay. <laughs> and uh, so they break down like punk bands. Okay. I sent you guys the link. They, got, they, did, they did the Ramones. I saw like that you sent the okay. Ramones. I was going to get like around to it, but I, it I was, was really listening good. to your mom's house right now. And I did. Well, it's just crazy. You were at his mom's house. I was listening. Sorry. I learned a lot. <laughs> it's all I had. It's, 
<laughs> just trying to continue. Your mom's house is funny. Fuck yeah, dude. I fucking it love that funny. <laughs> that gets you in trouble, dude. That's I'll one of the Paul ones Champagne, you can't dude. listen to, like, if you don't have headphones. Like, like hey, I'll put this on my stereo. Yeah, mom's you house and, like, you, you, you will get fired. Yeah. Nice. That's crazy. Especially if they fired. bring on Robert Paul Champagne, dude. <laughs> Have you seen that guy? <laughs> he has no idea what you're talking about, dude. I do no, not. don't explain it to him. Just look it up. Just look it up. <laughs> Just do, look I, it do, up. Our, do our listeners Call know what stingy. he's talking about? Do our listeners know what he's talking about? What listeners? So. Well, let me go through the list. Look, you know what? <laughs> I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, well, these goddamn right. listeners here. I'll tell you what. I if, love if, if you look at our social media presence and email presence, we have no fucking listeners. Oh, yeah. None. That's my but fault. then they'll text me like, hey, that's fucked up what you said or something. I'm like, hey, man. <laughs> you know, like, we have a social media. Yeah, don't be shy about fucking. Like there, you can yeah. go ahead and shit on us and fucking <laughs> on, a, on, on the social platform, bro. Like, it's, it's okay. You don't have to text me personally. Uh, like, I forgot what we fucking said. That's you know great. what I'm saying? So punk ass vegan Jeremy called me out about <laughs> apparently I I don't know shit about guns I got some Ooh. I got some but I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about uh, I do know the push pull thing I I suck it if I don't have that pit that little woman stance I can't shoot nobody that's truth <laughs> um, calibers and all that shit I know dick about that all right but I know I do have some some things here and there. <laughs> Cassie's first book, my wife, she's an author. She's, she's published. Her first book. We should read a passage on here. Shoots the guys on the cover. He shoots we just like that. We should definitely read that one. She, you know that's Corey. What's it called? You guys keep talking. That's Corey for sure. She <laughs> shot, dude. This <laughs> motherfucker here. I know. <laughs> is it a book she's writing like is fictional it a, is or Is it a romantic fact? novel? She wrote it. She wrote a book is when it she was in high school. Is it fact or fiction? She, a fake stuff. She also made it fiction. up so when she fiction. was in high school. And oh, then, uh, what? Yeah. It's fact. You got it published? It's nonfiction yeah. then. Yeah, like real deal so shit. So, real is it, is shit? It like, yeah, so it's nonfiction. It's yeah. fact. Did you see the Dave Chappelle episode? It's like the real sex take one. What's the freakiest thing you ever did? She's like, oh, once oh, I yeah. had a game with like four guys. She's like, he's like, what did you do? He's like, I kissed old gangbang over nice. there. <laughs> 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 gangbanging ass over here. He wrote this sexual fantasy thing. No, of course, it's, it's not. It's fiction. Never happened. I hope not because it's pretty graphic. And then, uh, so I never even touched on it. After after uh, we found out uh, Tosh.0 was getting canceled, I kind of just started watching Ridiculousness, like, a Ooh, lot. Ooh, it's rough. Ridiculousness, yeah. the show with mm. Rob Diedrich. You guys never don't like that I one? i never seen it. Uh, I, <sighs> bless his heart, I like Rob Diedrich. Yep, Because, hilarious. all right, so when I found out about him, I watched the DC video, and I thought it was hilarious because he was the first and probably the only fucking skater to actually hire a bodyguard yes. and put him to use. <laughs> yes. Like, that's fucking funny, dude. That was, I don't give a fuck. That's great. I never thought he was that great of a skater to, like, stand out. Like, don't get me wrong. He's a better skater than me ever was or whatever. But, like, I just, out of all the skaters, I didn't think he was, like, phenomenal or anything. But the fact that he had a fucking huge security guard that would tackle motherfuckers for telling him not to skate on pole, that was hilarious. <laughs> yes. Hilarious. But... Legit, he's not a comedian. He's not funny. You know That's what I'm saying? Funny. So, he's like, he's got, like, a... St- <laughs> and then, like, even his... Like, he needs some comedian... Cra- he's got his friends out there. Chanel West Coast is eating on the eyes, I guess. Chanel you know? West Coast. And then, like... CeeLo the, something is the, the other The guy. DJ, yeah. but it's, like... CeeLo something, I forget okay, his name. But it's, like... It, it's 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 a step up above America's Funniest Home Videos. I like to think that oh, uh, we man. have a lot in common with. Uh, I think Bob Saget give him a run for his money. <laughs> I think we have we have a lot in common with ridiculousness. They have that ad lib uh, moment, oh, that, that ad lib thing. That we're all non comedians. Here we go. Oh shit! What are you looking at? More oh, porn? Shit. Oh, he oh. crashed it. Oh. Yeah, that gay porn oh, does that. Gay porn does that. (laughs) 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 Said no. (laughs) There goes that. Crash. (laughs) Blue screen and everything, dude. We'll talk about Cassie's book next time. No, have you read any of the pages at all, or that book I've never read? Did she tell you what it was about? She did not. She's she's embarrassed of that book. Have you guys ever read a book? Uh, I have. I have, I have, I read like two books. One. I read two (laughs) books. I read one book about space and then they made a second one. I read that one. All right, hold on, hold on. Was it Ender's Game? No, it wasn't. What was the last book you read and when? 
I, well, comic books don't count, right? I mean, we've got one minute. That's the last Did we say we're doing. cutting this at forty-five? Uh, we no. just said that. I think he had okay. on oh, the on right. camera one. I think camera uh, one died. That's the phone cam. Yeah, looking uh, good. Adamar's last book he read. I don't know if that's still recording or not. Mm, but. The f- book book that I read was called The Red Planet, which was about going to Mars. Jimmy, I would have thought that was about Superman. Um. That was a book book, but comic book wise, I was re- I've been reading a lot of uh, old school Captain America comic nice. books okay. from like the 40s so, and shit. So if we're going comic book wise counting, does uh, audible books count? Yeah. Books on like you just listen to audio. Yeah. yeah. Does that I'm count? Down with that. Yeah, like a I'm podcast. Down with it. No, that's it not fair because then you don't get to struggle you with don't. the big words. Yeah, because yeah, I, I struggle don't think with big words <laughs> all the fucking time. Dude. Yeah, I don't think it counts because <laughs> I don't fall asleep listening to audio really that much. And I, but I fall asleep as soon as I get that page. I'm like, oh. yes, yes. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> uh, ick, Almost ick. didn't make this podcast tonight trying to read to my son. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you, you were right, saying so that. you did it though. Funny story. Yeah, all right, I will say the last book I read. And 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 what? But uh, so in a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it was a while that, ago. But first, but so <laughs> I can. I'm not the best reader, but I'm not bad. Okay. But when you read out loud, it's a different ball game. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. I've been reading to my son, and these are not like professor. These are not even like elementary. These are it's Dr. Seuss. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like um the 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 the. the, the Cat, cat, and I'm like, who, what the fuck is wrong with me? Dude, I'm fucking retarded, bro. I can't fucking read. Like, what is going on, man? Adam, are you already in my right? head? I'm reading. No. I'm doing tricks and shit, dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like out loud, I'm like, today. Do you remember? Do you remember what was it in the early 2000s or like late 90s? Where that guy had an infomercial about reading really fast, just running your fingers yeah. through the page. Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it was so whack, Holy dude. Holy shit. Supposedly, you could read a book like in, like in five minutes or something like that. I thought that was Braille. Something no. about skimming. Like yeah, like you could only like skimmer. pick out like, as you like run your fingers through the page, you only pick out like a few words, Holy split the page. You remember, remember that? that. No, nope. because you know what? When what I read about. the whole thing, That dude, was whack, though. I it turns out it was fake. Like, okay, what was the point of what we just read? And, and, like, everyone would be like, oh, is this, this, and this. I'm like, really? Because that's not what I got. I'm like, what'd you get? They're like, that had nothing to do. I'm like, well, that had everything to do with it. Like, the way he talked to his person. That's the reason why his fucking dad whooped his ass, because that little <laughs> attitude part right there. No one, no one picked that up. And they're like, I'm like, all right, I'm the weird one. Whatever, you guys. I know. So the last book I read, uh, actually physically read, was called, um, oh, I forgot. Uh Mindset. Mindset. A mindset. It, um, it was by a chick named Mind Carol something. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie, the first half of the book, I'm like, this hippie shit, fucking bullshit. And then the rest of the book, I'm like, she's spot on. She's fucking good. <laughs> it all comes together now. I didn't know people thought like that. <laughs> what the awesome. fuck? That's awesome. You know what I'm saying? And it's, yeah. it's so cool. And it's like, I was telling, <laughs> I was joking around with someone else. I was like, man, you know, the, I'm supposed to be punk rock and angry and shit, and I fucking hate hippies. And the older I get, the more I'm turning into a hippie. That's awesome. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's awesome. No, no man. man peace and love, bro. Look it out, brother. I think that's <laughs> great. I, I, a pet peeve of mine is, a, is, is not, I don't know when it started, is not changing. Uh, but Cassie won't eat sushi, and I know that she won't eat it because it's a little, you, if you don't eat sushi, you kind of think that it's like a goopy, watery sort of uh, substance. Hey, what did you just say? Really? Sushi. I'm just Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then uh, Goopy is what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Not gook, Gooky. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I wouldn't say you know, that. Th- but then you get there and you're like, all of this is cooked. It's all hot. It's all ready to go. But it's like one of those things I d- that I used to work with a girl who said, I don't ever eat donuts, pizza, or, and she said something else that people love, bacon. Yeah. I, I hate all of those. And I'm like, you've been saying that for so long that you, you have believe to live it. by it now. You, you believe just it. have to live by. You believe it. Yeah, yeah. It's one. You know what? It's funny you say that because it was something about uh, putting that bullshit in the universe. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, like for instance, uh, you know, I'll play a drum part, and I'm like, man, I'm really worried about this. Fuck this whole song. I just worried about this one part that I don't want to fuck up, and I don't fuck it up, but I fuck up the other part of the song that I don't <laughs> fuck up because I'm so worried about this because I put it in the universe. Hey, don't fuck up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And that's and and it's that. 
that shit really, that shit kind of really works, man. Like, you know, like, uh, you know, same thing I tell people, like, you know, if you're a cigarette smoker, oh, I'm going to quit smoking cigarettes. Don't say it out loud. Yeah. You're going to put that shit in the universe. And when you kind of, if you're not real serious about it, you got one of these assholes. Hey, I thought you were quitting smoking yeah. cigarettes. Hey, man, fuck yeah. you, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm that guy. Don't, I'm don't, that don't. guy that asked that. I'm the, hey, I thought you quit smoking. But put that other shit in the universe. Like, you know, no, nah, man, I'm a fucking, you know, I'm going to start going to the gym or whatever it is or, you know, whatever. I, I don't know, man. I, I'm not one of those guys that, like, when I when I haven't seen my friends or hear about them, I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, they're in the gutter. I'm like, yes, I'm doing better than that guy. Man. That's yeah. fucking. I follow. People are yeah. like that, man. I follow. You know, like, I don't give a fuck if, like, I, I know guys that I didn't really get along that great with in high school or they don't like me now and they're doing great. And, and I'm like, I think it's still kind of cheesy how they're fucking doing it, but they're doing good. I'm like, well, good for him, man. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like he fucking, we started the same starting line and he, whatever, I'm not a kiss ass and he got it that way for what I heard. Cause he's always been that way, but you know what? He's got it. If that's what he wanted, he kissed his ass his way and got it. Fuck good for him. You know what I'm saying? I have pride or whatever. Now here I am at the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> so I mean, fucking who who won? I don't know. Fucking you know. It's the value that we give this information. It really is, man. I mean, um, you're not at the bottom of the barrel, Adamar. Pretty sure I am. You're at the nah. top. Oh, hey, you're talking about no, Adamar. Yeah. No, Please. nobody's yeah, at, at the bottom, bottom <laughs> Adamar. Please. Nobody's at the bottom, man. I don't think fucking so. I think we all start in the in the, the middle. Fuck was we Somehow. all start the rain's out the over. Same. We're we're Biden's Mushy in, right? Piles of muscle. Sorry. My Trump friends are fucking upset still. Your Trump friends are still angry? Oh God, I think it's they hilarious. They still want that recount, or oh, I don't know. Boy. I was just laughing because I was like, you know recount. what? I yeah, honestly they did. Hey, <laughs> they <laughs> mad at me because I'm like, yo, man, I I don't I didn't see anything different. <laughs> like, <laughs> did you see that Pennsylvania guy? <laughs> Before like, and after, I'm like, hey, I still go to work. The pandemic's <laughs> still going on. Uh. Oh boy! Oh yeah, boy. I went to work the same day. I, I wasn't yeah. sure who won. Um, I wasn't even sure who won. Yeah, you know, and uh, I guess what? I'm not gonna bitch because guess what? I didn't vote. So yeah, um, yeah I have no say. Power I didn't to the vote. people. Yeah. I just know the machine's too big to fail. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's a terrible. That's moment. all you want. That's that's an awful thing. To hear. I know. I know. But here oh, we are. Man. Thirty-eight years. Oh, I haven't man. voted, and we're still going. I so don't know. Uh, that being said, uh, doesn't doesn't have anything to do with police or police brutality. I was I had to go work at a different location, so I was getting off on uh, getting off nine, getting off the fifteen. He said getting off. Getting off the 15 <laughs> at uh, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Tropicana, <laughs> doing 65 still, and then got onto the street, you know what I mean, and went around the cars. So the cop clocked me at 65 in a 35. Ooh, like it a, got that's behind me. That's a fat me. ticket, dude. Yeah, that's a fat ticket right there. And go and there's nothing going on. Did on you, the did you, when he pulled you he over, did you just like officer, officer? I didn't even. Black Lives Matter. So I, I, the, <laughs> the, one, the one thing that I had going Biden for won, me, officer. The, the one thing. Do your boy a solid. The one thing that I had going for me was uh, I was like, okay, we'll let this Christian radio music keep playing. We'll fill him out. See if that touches his heart. You know what I mean? See if he strikes up some conversation. Nobody gets their ass whooped the Christian music. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know I, mean? I love this song. Mm. Could you turn mm. it down and step out, Jesus, please? Jesus, guide my Billy Club. <laughs> guide my Billy Club. So he comes up. Jesus, pat that Billy Club. <laughs> he comes up and he's like, "You got your uh, your everything?" And I was like, "I got my license right here. I got my reg my my insurance is digital. I got a picture of it, and um, I don't got my registration. You don't have your registration? I I, I nah, but it's registered though." He, oh, I know it's registered. You don't have your registration in your vehicle. I looked straight into the windshield. I said, first no. 2020, do I need that? I said, I do not have my register. This is the first time I've had my driver's everything together to where <laughs> if you do give me a ticket, I'm going to hand it. <laughs> it's going to be it's, it's gonna be fine. And I'm 38 years old <laughs> saying that. thought he was going to MC Hammer. So with two <laughs> two. Yo, dog. <laughs> Yo, don't fuck with me right now, dog. So he was like, you don't have your 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 registration in your He's vehicle? I look straight at, hey, dog, confident than a motherfucker. I know. I've been pulled over. I've had all of those tickets <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> me and Jimmy was rolling down the motherfucking Las Vegas. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> Why you stop laughing? <laughs> anyways, anyways. So I, I looked into about. the windshield and I said, no, I do not have my registration in my vehicle at all. And I'm absolutely positive of it. 
He sat there for 10 seconds, quiet, looking at me. Like, like I don't even think he – I think he was trying to make me feel like I'm, I'm an asshole mm-hmm. because the way I said it and then clammed up and just looked straight. And so I just looked straight, and he said, I'll be back. He went back there. He started clicking away, looking at my license plate. It's a wrap. Yeah. It's a yeah. wrap. So he comes over. He's like, he wants this to see is where lying. you go. This is where you, what you do. Whatever, dude. And so I, I disrespectfully snatched it out of his hand Whoa. and I threw it. And what? when I threw it, I, I, I was like, well, don't just throw it. And so I threw it into my seat, and I looked straight again, and he sat there quiet again, just looking at me. And I looked straight, and I was like, this is it. Nervous as a motherfucker, watching my hand shake. I put my foot on the brake and put it in the drive and drove off on him. Fuck you, dude. What are you, what are you, what are we doing? What are we doing this stare down for? You gave yeah. me my ticket. Yeah. It was a fucked up ticket. I didn't look at it. It was a fucked up. Whatever you did, I didn't argue with you or nothing. But don't. I'm done with I'm the whole. Take, yeah. whole with and the this, whole is, this is my bluff you, too. You don't have your registration. Well, this, yeah. Actually, it's not a bluff because uh, you know. Oh, I, well, I, you're I, a fucking idiot. Then? I'm is union. That what you mean? I'm and union I now, and I, uh, I got um, part of my union is is the having a have a lawyer. Nice. And so that's I'm just like, look, dude. Are you giving me a ticket or not? Yo. And I, I try not to say it sound like a dick. Yo. But they're like, well, uh, I'm like, no, I'm just asking because I'm not dealing with this. Dude. They're like, excuse that's me? funny. I'm like, I have a lawyer for this. That's funny. So I'm like, they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, whatever whatever it is, like, you just let me know. I, I'm going to give it to them. That's I'm funny. not dealing with this, dude. So I'm not going to argue with you. Yeah. And I'm not going to, am I getting a ticket? Or yes or no? That yes, mother- give it to me. I'll take it and ride. But then again, you know, I, I know what I look like. So when I pull over, I got the windows down, hands out the window. That's Sir, great. I'm reaching That's for my seatbelts. Again, great. repeat, reaching he had, he had for the no, We had no interactions beside that backhanded comment. And fucking. You know what? I'm not going to lie. When the police come around, I turn into, yes, sir. No, you know sir, what I mean? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and and, and I, was re- I was ready to do it. And, and I think it's because I work with people all day, every day that, I'm feeling your energy. I know what I did and didn't do. We're, we're and I'm old not now. Alfie. It's old. Well, look, I'm, I'm like, not look, like, bro. I'm tough with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so. Same thing with me. I'm like, look, man. I'm fucking 38. Google Whoa. my fucking record history. I'm the worst criminal ever. <laughs> Or a thug. You know what I'm saying? If, if there's a five star criminal, I'm a half a star. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna start my criminal career at 38, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Unless I start and but this is when the fucking old white dudes start joining fucking Hell's Angel gangs and shit. Yeah. My wife let me, my kids hate me. <laughs> fuck it, join them. Whoa! And those motherfuckers you gotta watch out for. But yeah, me, I'm like, I'm not a start I'm, that same thing. I'm like, yeah, let me know. I Oh, well, if you don't pay the ticket, but hey, yeah, 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 I'll let my lawyer know. Mm-hmm. No, I, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this shit no more, I bro. Met, I met Jimmy's lawyer once. I went there. I sat there in the corner. I was like, yeah. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> and then she's my gangster, ticket, bro. My She'll ticket. look at you. She, she told me straight up. She was like, look, man, I want to win. Nice. So like, if you don't really have a case, I'm not taking this shit. I'm like, oh, yes. Man. Nice. That's good and bad. I hand my <laughs> ticket to Cassie. She's a paralegal. It's done. Fuck that cop. I got no problem with cops. My dad oh, see, that's why you got confidence. Huh? That's why. That's where the confidence comes in. The what? The, the confidence. confidence. Oh, right. That's funny. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, you really know you didn't do nothing bad. Nothing yeah. to deserve an ass whooping. Nothing to you know deserve yeah. to make, make me feel like an idiot. Yeah. Well, that's see, the way. thing. You, you force like me trying to to talk down to you. You, you talk down to me and you force me to feel I, I, stupid. See, and then you always force people into a thank you. Yeah. Hey, here's your ticket. What do you say? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Fuck yeah, you, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. You I'm, I'm you. That's I'm what wish, I say. I'm with you on that, dude. <laughs> motherfucker. They, they oh, do thank that you for giving me a ticket, all the fucker. Time. Yeah, right. Thank you. Like, I yeah, whatever, I don't, man. And I know the whole Black Lives Matter and, and any Trumper that's listening to me, whatever, dude. Being a cop, you have a job where you, you, you are in power. And sooner or later, you're going to lose gris- grasp of reality, just like any celebrity. And they get drunk hate. with it. They get and, drunk and, with that and, power. And it just happens. It just happens. You know I what? understand it. But I, I, at a certain time, when we're saying police people, there, there's communication skills. Like, why do I have to go to sensitivity training? That's a waste check, of money. Check this out, though. Hey, motherfucker, treat a person I will like a say, on, exactly. on behalf of our, our, our whatever, amongst the protests, I got pulled over going like 80 or 90 on the freeway going to work, you know, and I worked the, the graveyard shift. And so, you know, dude lit me up, surprised the fuck out of me because I did not see this motherfucker. <laughs> and uh, uh, lit me up, I pulled over, and he, you know, he came out and, uh, you know, I rolled the window down, did the whole spiel, and had my, had my thing down. And I was, I was just like, he was like, hey, uh, you know, something. I was like, y- y- you got me. 
I'm not even gonna fight this, bro. Like, you got me. Like, you surprised me with the lights and everything. I didn't even see you, bro. Like, you, you snuck up on like the Matrix, motherfucker. You got me. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, uh, you know, any drugs or alcohol in here? I'm like, no, nah, dude. I'm, I'm going to work. He's like, I mean, unless you count this five-hour energy, yeah, if you yeah. got another one, I'll take. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I'm on my way to work, bro. We're working graveyards. Where's work? You know, I told him where work was. Oh, shit, I'm out here trying to get a pair of drivers, bro. He's like, uh, uh you know, slow it back and uh. And that's a thousand dollar ticket. I'm like, ouch! Woo. Oh, yeah, and, 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 just out of reaction, Woo. just out of my cheapness. Once he said a thousand dollars, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I was like, ten and two. <laughs> and then I was just like, thank you because of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My, yeah. Just out of my cheapness, I was like, you're not gonna yeah. let me. I was expecting this ticket. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And it probably wouldn't have been a thousand dollars after give to the lawyer and all that shit. But still, just my cheapness alone was like, when Whoa. I when I when and he I let was... me off, and and I was just like, but it's because I'm getting older. Huh. I, I, got, I got the CCW thing on my on my thing, and they That's know most of them aren't really. Legit. Well, no, they most most people look. Rot, dude, you, this you, is the thing with with. I know we you know we get off the gun subject and shit, dude. But like with, with yeah, C- CCW vegan owners, Jeremy. vegan Jeremy. I know, fucking bad <laughs> motherfucker. But with CCWs, uh, it's like, look, man, these people are taking the time to try to do the right thing. The, I mean, you're actually trying to take the time to register. You're taking classes. You're learning how to properly handle it. Most of the people with CCWs, they're not the dudes that are going to whip it. Hey, look at this. I just bought a new gun. Whip it out, flip it around. Yeah. Th- th- those aren't the dudes. Funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, Doing that shit. Yeah. You know it's it's, it's usually it. the guys that, like, fucking lied to Home Depot about getting a fucking chainsaw. Yeah, I know how to use a chainsaw. That's look funny. at me. You know what I'm <laughs> I wonder what kind of idiot would do that. <laughs> he got home. He's all fucking, mm. hey, man. Look at this shit. How many flips do I can get? <laughs> I'm going to turn this into a chair. <laughs> uh, what kind of you, chair? You want a Game of Thrones chair or <laughs> just a regular chair? <laughs> don't poke you. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know, man. I, with, with, with what you were saying and, and uh, about, the guy, about the guy letting you go that day, mm. with what I was just saying and calling Trumpers out, when I was a younger man, I used to get away with a lot of dumb shit. So I cops have shit. let me, they've let me go. There, there's been plenty of cops in in uh, ni- in 2000, you know, pre nobody gives a shit about racism. Mm. Shut up. Mm-mm. There's plenty of cops that pulled me over that were like, mm-hmm. "What's racism. the smell <laughs> in here? Give me the weed. Stop it out right in front and be like, you're an idiot. Please keep driving. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the Thank other thing. Yeah. I guess that's yeah. weird now. Like that's I could have got put into the system as a young man again and I, again and again. I, rem- and I still bad. remember that. So like even as now, I still like. That's their final like reach is like, hey, step out the vehicle, let me check it. Like, mm-hmm. please let me get something on you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that was their always like maybe you left a pipe in the That's back funny. seat, forgot about it. Ooh, look we got here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they're yeah. reaching, you know, and, yeah. and I don't know, man. But I but right now I it's it's gotta be rough, man, because you can't arrest everybody for everything like they used man. to. And then you still, I imagine you still got to make quotas. From, from another shit. podcast, yeah. a, a well known one that's better than ours, I heard that <laughs> they were saying about uh like LAPD, like they're not even arresting people for break-ins. Ooh, like what? they're breaking the house, so like we really can't do nothing about it. Just kind of oh, let them go. Terrible. It's like, what's what? the what's the cause behind it? Why I, why aren't they doing it? COVID and fucking. Oh fuck! All right. Yeah, just dude, we can't. Just like, yeah, we can't. Th- can't risk him to get COVID. He can't throw yeah. him in there. What? I'm not about like defunding them or cracking on them about shit, but there's a lot. Well, of times. Well, defunding anything is the stupidest idea. Ooh, ooh, changing the subject. You guys know. China's kicking ass in space right now. Is that so oh, I heard they got some moon rocks and shit, Yo, dude, dude. They just went so t- if today. What's today's date? Today is the December sixth. It's oh, Sunday. Six. I'm sorry. The sixth. And then so on Thursday. Is it Sunday now? On Thursday, they sh- they straight sent a robot. So we were sending people in the '60s and '70s. We started off. They Saturday. straight up are like, okay, NASA's done in America. We're gonna do this shit. They sent a robot, and they're gonna keep sending robots to. Mars or to do stuff until they get all the trajectory and shit down to where it can land itself and then we'll start shooting people with it and we'll do it that way. Not gonna so, lie, man. I'm, I've been trying to get a meteorite fucking knife for a minute. Hey, meteorite <laughs> ring right here. Oh, my man. Look yes, that. sir. Nice. <laughs> meteorite wedding ring. Believe it. But yeah, so they're doing that and then they plan on having a space station in space by 2022, something like in the movies that you live on. 
and that they'll be able to reach with like one of those virgin Dude, America better airline. step it up because you know if that happens, China's like, Done. oh no, we fucked yeah. up. No, yeah. they, put a, they put a flag on I, the moon. I, I seen the Google thing. So, 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 so immediately when I saw that flag on the moon, I'm like, oh, you're declaring war. Like, oh, and, and you know, and I'm right. like, so why are you, why do you feel that way? Because who owns the moon, dude? Yeah, Come, but chill back. Kick back. It's I not owned by shit. Talk whoa, 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 about whoa. it. It's Hold international. Only There's America no, and Russia. Nobody, uh-huh. Nobody can moon. own that. We don't let these goddamn. That's what I'm saying. That whole that whole ra- space race. Like when yeah. I saw, I was like, "Is that legal?" It's all right if you have two whites. Then you got some minorities <laughs> in there, dude. Like I don't know about that shit. Yeah, as soon as so, an ethnic then, joins, like then, mm-hmm. and then Elon nope, Musk, nope. like I'll build a fucking tunnel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll build we'll a tunnel. We'll put a tube right there from oh, here to so, L.A. So when they landed, they got the rocks, like you said, and then the probe that that drills drills like six feet into the ground. So they got rocks from the ground. But that that drill also Rocks, was doing digital. <laughs> what's the ground like? Where's are there caves in the moon? They okay. they did that shit also. Like a so radar like how thing. everybody all those flat earthers say, whoa, well, the whoa, moon's whoa, whoa, just hold a on, camera, hold on. a hollow hold thing. Hold on, yeah. like all right. Now it, uh, are not as real. exciting as this is, mm-hmm. as much as I, I I love the the new and explore and we're exciting about this, you got to remember. Those are the same motherfuckers. I don't know if it's exactly Chinese or Japanese, but it's Asians. Those are the same motherfuckers that are beating the fuck out of yes. these whales and fucking dolphins in the ocean. <laughs> oh, <laughs> baby seals and shit. Yeah, yeah. dude. Like, oh, it's That's for sad. research. Hey, hey, not hey, motherfucker. Dolphins, yeah. Like, so let's not that. get too excited. Though, I saw that like, documentary called so The So what Cove. I'm saying is they might go up there and start fracking the moon and shit, dude. <laughs> and you notice, funny. like, hey, you know, like the tidal waves are getting really big. Oh, <laughs> and the oh. moon's getting smaller and smaller. China's made an artificial sun that can that will warm the an area as now, la- as large as India. I want to ask you: Are you reading these what articles? Because I saw that headline. Thank you. So that article Cassie read for me, <laughs> and, uh, and so and so I'm she like, broke it down to me in so, term. I, so because <laughs> so I was basically. reading, I was reading the the first one. So so I'm like, well, is it like a satellite that? The, and she's like, I don't know. So she read the article, and so it's it was nuclear kind of reactor vague. though. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's nuclear powered. So yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. They're Which is shooting. scary because nuclear power. Well, I I hear what they it, they got it down now to like it's a little like it's not like it used to be. What do you mean like the radio like the waves? Like so, like, for instance, can, like no 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 no. So for instance, like the nuclear power stations that we have now are from like the fucking seventies yeah. and fifties. <laughs> yeah. Right. And you know, there's not a whole lot of fifties and seventies cars on the road, right? Yeah. So these fucking Power plants are like these 1950s cars uh-huh. that we're just kind of like rebuilding and, and kind of keeping maintenance mm-hmm. because we don't know what else to fucking do with them because we can't really shut them down because we didn't think that far ahead. Yeah. So now the new ones they're building, and this is the idiot fucking re- repeating it, but this the new ones they're building, they're, they're um, like – Safer because they're new technology. They got better technology. They got <laughs> like, a better way. Like of cleanliness. <laughs> like, like, I guess so. Russia if something were to happen, it's not a fucking nuclear meltdown yeah. like it was before, yeah. like on The Simpsons and shit, dude. Yeah. You know no, what I'm saying? Dude. Russia has a nuclear power plant on a boat that's on the ocean. Nice. That's so not we, nice, dude. So no, that's we just <laughs> fuck that's us cool. all, bro. No. That's cool. yeah, no. What did that shit say? <laughs> so, so this, <laughs> all the so, fucking so <laughs> Japan had that that Fukushima. Their oh, shit yeah. fucking react, and we're still getting fucking reactive shit coming over from. That was the earthquake, though. No, nah, yeah, the, the earthquake, earthquake happened. Happened. broke yeah. the Open fucking the nuclear place. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but the whole point is <laughs> yeah. like we put that there. You know? Yeah, God and Jesus didn't put that there. <laughs> but God and Jesus made the ground shake. Now, don't you, don't you try to <laughs> tell you, me you want to hear else. something so stupid, dude? Uh, I've been watching the shit uh, on Hulu, uh, uh, Black Jesus. Black Jesus, yeah, we used to three, watch that on three that. episodes. They got three seasons of Black Jesus. Nice. And goddamn, if that don't make me want to be a better person, you ever watch that? Black is Jesus? a fucking great nope. show, dude. It's, it's so episode show. season one. Every because I I thought it was hilarious, right? <laughs> and I was preaching it to everyone, and they were like, "Oh, it could have been better." I'm like, "Bro, you can't go hard on the first season because if you want more seasons, you can't get canceled the first fucking season." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, that's, <laughs> that's just true. fucking. Season two to me was the funniest one. And season three was good, but like it just sucked because Charlie Murphy was already passed yeah, away. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now, after that one is passed, like uh, John Witherspoon's passed. You know what I'm saying? But season two is fucking. But just the fact, just the shit that Jesus does on the show, it's just so funny, man. It just makes you want to. I don't know. It's just fucking hilarious, man. He's it's so on Hulu, funny. you said. Yeah, man. I have it's to get un- around to it's it. It's underrated as a motherfucker, dude. And there's a lot of uh, a lot of comedians on the show, dude. 
Yeah, uh, Corey. What's his name? Corey Holmes? Corey Combs. Corey yeah, yeah. Holcomb. Uh, Corey Holcomb. He plays uh, uh, Booney. That guy, he's great. Oh, he's, my God. He's a fucking terrible person. He's the only person. one that stayed, stayed the... Uh, he didn't change either? He's the only one that stayed all three seasons. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say, like, a raunchy comedian. Because he is one of those guys that... I think we had this conversation before. He he auditioned for Wild and Out the first time. Oh, I really? Think you, I think it was you. I think it was him telling it then. He auditioned the first time, and they are like, nah, dude, that's too rough. And he's like, oh, punk-ass, pussy-ass. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, he's, hey he's so like on season two now. and three of Hulu, <laughs> it's, it's uncensored. <laughs> nice. Oh, and nice. oh, my God. And his mom is always, you sorry, fat-ass. Man. And then they're just dropping the N-bombs. A soul fucking funny, on, bro. On the Jesus show? Oh, man. And he's constantly <laughs> he's constantly getting swindled into shit. He's like, Jesus, I got this blunt for you. Well, you know, you know, Jesus, uh, go ahead. Uh, go Jesus ahead. does smoke weed. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so he's, Jesus fucking down. funny. Jesus. He's the first one to light it up. And he's like, yeah. no, in, pop, in Pop's name, we do this shit. In Pop's just, name. Oh, my God. It's so funny, dude. Like, this little, this little like, rib jabbers, dude. I'm sorry, I keep turning around. I'm looking for it's China's artificial sun. So, um, oh, just roll past me. No, it's cool. No, we're good. I no, mean, no, no, no. We're, we're an hour. No, no, no. Just, just. We're an hour deep. It, it, it. We're an hour deep. What do we want to do, gentlemen? Um, oh, I got to go through this shit on video. It sucks, and I didn't clap or sync it up or nothing. Right. Oh, it's shit. Fucking horrible. That's too late. <laughs> that's too, oh, that's way fucking too late. <laughs> way too late. And uh, I don't know if one of our videos won't get pulled down because that that fucking so- that lower class brass song I didn't, yeah. get, I didn't cut it out. Oh, can you I, didn't? Can, oh, I play, no. can I can I play a, a comedian for us out? Can yeah, like dude. 30 seconds? No, yeah. Um, I, I'd I'd rather you can if you want. If you say, what but are you I, say? I, I'd rather promote one of our friends' bands. Let's do it. Okay. Bring him up. Where's his music? I can't because our Jeez. phone's technically the camera. Can I pick one? Christ. Um, no, we're promoting his friend's band. Um, I have my band. <laughs> <laughs> You're not in it anymore. Why are you trying to get back in it? What's the brand? <laughs> <laughs> What's the band's I've heard, name? I heard someone making phone calls about here. What's uh, the band's name? Uh, either. Uh, what do you want? You can't. You can't. You got to go Who on. Do like, you want to prom- You can't. They're not on there. You have to go on like SoundCloud or. Um, or uh, band camp or something. All right, so we're we're listening to the joke, but let's let's let everybody. So I was just saying maybe like false cause or hard pipe hitters or guilty guilty by association is on there. That's our friends. They have a song on there called Straight to Hell. It's fucking really great, and they're local Las Vegas, and we've been playing with those guys for a really long time. And and they're and, nice. And well, not only they're nice, they're they're. To me, like one of the OG fucking bands in Vegas, and they're still fucking doing it. They're still touring. They're still relevant. I have their vinyl, their vinyl uh, See, album. See, Adamar has their vinyl album. It's orange. It's <laughs> it's cool. They have this song. I forgot. They mentioned. Uh, oh, I forget her name. Go, go on YouTube or something, dude. Guilty by association, straight to hell. It's on SoundCloud. You don't have a SoundCloud. You don't have a uh, Bandcamp. Those are all apps we could download. So yeah, everybody out there listening, get these apps and uh, look up these. There bands. are free apps that um, um, Google's tracking you with. <laughs> uh, are you not binging it, Corey? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, you suck, Boy, dude. You know what? You think Nadab Google was bad it. at googling shit? Nadab. <laughs> <Corey? laughs> yeah. Nadab. Nadab. Oh, sorry. I see straight to hell. That's is that it? Yep. All right, folks. You have a ball.